Hey everybody, Wafjis here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, last episode, I uh, won my Holy War for Turkestan, and I'm now sort of putting down lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, heathen uprisings, because I've just dealt with a uh, sunny uprising, and then, as I was dealing with that one, a Tengri uprising appeared, which is quite, a, quite convenient, because they were in neighbouring counties. So I don't even need to, to move my troops too much, so I'm just going to finish off uh, this army, stack wipe them like so, lovely stuff, so that's the end of that. So I gain a little bit of piety and prestige and some all-important moral authority, because I do need that in order to uh, convert my lands, which are slowly but surely becoming Massalian, which is all good. Um, I mean, are you, you're still Massalian, cool, good. Uh, he's converting his lands, nice. So. In terms of what's next, well, I've got, I've got my ambitions to the south. I do want to take on um, the the caliphate again, except I need to wait for them to either implode, uh, which is probably not going to happen because, you know, it's just irritating how easily they crush their uh, the decadence revolts. But also, um, when they're just either in lots of other wars, if they're distracted, that's fine. Such as this guy who is currently imprisoned that should be 100% war score surely they fully occupied it but either way um, I could go against the Shayan now hmm that's a possibility well first things first I need to get rid of this I need to actually go and crush this host over here that's raiding me because um, that's quite a substantial force they've got there I can duel this guy Okay, do I want to? Uh, it doesn't tell me I've got any sort of thing. I'm wounded, so that's, I'm, I'm not going to. For now, until I stop, you know, dying. Um, but I'm going to educate my son. My s no, I, I will for now, but then I'll have him educated by someone else to finish him off. Because I am a, a flamboyant schemer, which is, you know, not the best overall trait to have. Um... So this army is on the way. Should hopefully... Because... Oh, just look at this. Look at what they're doing. Raiding my shit. And the Shaven Deccans Revolt. Wow, that was... How did it get to 100% so quickly? They, were, they weren't they were on 92 and they weren't gaining anything. Deccans Revolt with 80,000 troops. 80,000. Leading tro troops in Druz. Or Druz. I think it's Druz. Check my Druz. Right there. Right by the capital. Oh goodness, that's a good 14,000 more troops than the Caliphate, but a single bat uh, battle could end that for them, but I do hope he wins. That would be great, um, for me at least, not necessarily for the Caliphate, obviously not for the Caliphate. And they got away, so I turned up for nothing. Um, where are they going to go now? No idea, they've disappeared, so that's fine. I will disband these troops, because people were dis not liking that fact. I mean, they're all fairly happy. There's no real risk of an uprising or an, a, a faction. This guy wants to lower, uh, do crown authority, but um, not overly fussed either way. I am on. I am on absolute. I am an absolute monarch right now. So, whatever. Um, whereas this guy. While the Shaban is dealing with that, I think now is the perfect time to strike against the Shaban. The Shayan. So I could Holy War for Deirstan. Or Kiva. To Baristan, which is a great one, but it would be isolated. To Breeze, which is there, which is a single county. I could make them a tributary. Could be cool. They could then be of use against uh, the Shaban or, or whoever, but I doubt it. I'm going to just try and Holy War. Let's get some land from them. Anyway, if I go for Deirstan. Not the best. Not the best at all. But not certainly not the worst. I might actually go for Kiva. To be honest, it wouldn't be the full thing, but that's some very nice land. No, I think for now I'll just go for Dehistan, just because it's close to my realm. Um, and it's sort of along the Caspian coast, so there's not much risk there. I looked into the best retinue compositions, and basically, Cataphracts are still king. They're just very expensive. Um, so I'm going to buy five... That was really a bit underwhelming. I was hoping I'd get a bit more than that. But either way, that's just how expensive they are in terms of uh, cap. 
and cost of money, because that cost me 1,000 thousand gold. That's quite a lot. So anyway, I'll declare a holy war for Deir Stan. Is my Chancellor still improved relations? He is. Good stuff. I'm going to call in my allies. They will not join me, so I won't. But I'll raise up my, my vassals and my own levies. Everyone can group ah, in Kangli. 10,000 troops altogether. I should have really compared our own our, our, our forces right then. But whatever. Um, if need be, I will raise up some uh, mercs. But I don't think I'll need them. Ah, he's called the Salmonids in. Salmonids have 9,000 troops. I might need them. I'm going to buy some mercs. While everyone's gathering. Tarn has been converted. Very good stuff. That's a very costly. The Victual Brothers. I don't want any of them. I need cheap. Um, but I might go the Cuman Band. Yes, I will. So they've got a bit of a walk ahead of them, to be fair. They should go over there as well. Fantastic. What's the... Uh, yes, I should, I'll should. i be able to keep everyone there. That's not a problem. Yes, so hopefully... Um, this Decadence Revolt will go well for the, the, the actual revolt itself. Yes, Please improve relations with the with the caliphate. If they get involved, I'm I'm dead. Simple as. Um, I'm gonna send you a gift. Please join my wars. Call to arms, maybe. He likes me quite a bit. Um, who else? Serbia and Severin. I'm not gonna do either of them. And Bulgaria will answer my call to war. Very good. Are they involved in their own, or can they actually give me their full full support? Because I'm going to need this. I'm going to be looking, from now on, I think, expansion-wise, it's going to be to the south. Um, there's no point going more north or west. Unless, of course, it's to uh, get, like, a kingdom or, or something. But otherwise, the north is a mess. There's no real um, support going to come from up there. So I might as well just focus all my attention to the south. Uh, get the land that I need from them. Because, of course, the south is where all my holy sites are. So, the more land I have in the south, the easier it's going to be to take those sites. Which is what I need. Um, and I, it's all really good land to the south. The north has the capacity to be really good land. But it's mostly... it's It spends most of the game tribal. So, there's not much... It, it's, it needs to be built up. Whereas, the, the south is already ready and ripe for the picking. Now I'm going to marry you off to... Someone with a decent claim, which is apparently no one. Could go for Burgundy. Fin wow, okay, yeah, her. You know what I just said about I wasn't going to pay attention to the North? If I can get Lithuania under Messalian rule, I'll I'll change my mind for that. Do not disband. Good God, no. Um, okay, cool. So I will not lead troops. I'm not particularly good, and I don't want to die. So, yes, ye, her, him, yes. So, what are the, your traits, your... Okay, cool. There's certain traits you don't want. Um, I've heard that inspiring leaders are not very good for skirmish tra troops because it tends to get them into melee quicker, apparently. Um, although I'd thought it would be really good. Just generally, it keeps your, uh, your morale up. But whatever, let's go occupy some land. I'm going to move my spy master, who is in Bira, didn't realise. I'm going to put you there. So I can see what's coming my way. Oh god, he's got 24,000 troops. Yeah, this could go poorly. I should start reading a book. Mm-hmm. This is... This could go very badly. Okay, our... Cali the Caliph won. Caliphate has just occupied the Umayyad Sultanate. Good God. Okay. Um, how is his decadence going? He's winning it? Are you kidding? How many troops do he have left? 65,000. Still enough. It wasn't for me. I won't become depressed. Depressed is not good. I don't want to kill myself. I don't need to go on to the next generation. Yeah, I need I need the uh, 
my allies to join me if they will. I'm going to call them in as well. Cool. Yeah, as long as I can keep the Caliphate out of the war. And I pretend to Sheer Caliphate. Cool. This is it's going well. Please, if, if any of these would win, that would be great. Armenia. Oh, good God. I, I hope Armenia is taken. That would be great. If they could uh, become independent and I can holy war that down, that would be, that'd be fantastic. Big fan of that. So, um, there's not much more I can really do here. I don't want to rush it down. I'll lose too many troops. I need all the troops I have. My truce is ending with the Caliph. What a sh oh, that's so convenient. I because I really want to, you know, attack the Caliphate. And they got seventy-two thousand troops. I'm going to struggle with twenty-four thousand. Ah well, uh, ask a friend to join the war. Please join my war. Eight hundred forty-eight guys, you'll help. Farmer's obviously lying. He approved. Cool. Join my war. Go on. Oh, they have. Cool. Thanks for that. Where are you then? Wait, no, you're already you're already in the war. You're my you're one of my you're in my realm. You're already part of the war, whether you want to or not. Ah, uh, sometimes we get, like if I'd ask for gold, he'd give me like five. Uh, okay. So because I was, I didn't realize it would actually be a negative opinion penalty. I'm gonna rush this down because I'm taking attrition now. I'm no longer wounded. Very nice. Um, I'm on 9% war score. I'm going to rush this down as well because I've got more than 10 times the amount. Uh, and it was a city, whereas this is a mosque. Rush this down as well. Cool. So I'm on 30% war score. I need to be very careful here. If I can manage to take all... I don't know where the uh, the troops are. Leading troops in Al Abaz. Maybe they're, they're there. Okay, maybe they're going to... Uh, Gather everyone all at once before moving them. Move them down there because I know that. Yeah, if they're, if they're gathering there or around there, that would be bad. 11,000 troops are headed to Tiberistan. Where are my allies? Bulgaria was on the way. I don't know where they've ended up. It wasn't where they should be. Oh, let's go. I'm going to crush the Salmonids while they are out of position. They've got... They don't have many special troops, so I should be able to take these guys out before they can link up with anyone. And that would give me a nice chunk of war score as well. Nestorian heresy has appeared. Cool. So they've basically been taken out. They're to Usturt. So I'll chase them to Usturt and take them out fully. So that's good. That's basically uh, wiped out one of the allies, but uh, the guy, the Shayans themselves, have enough troops to push me back, especially when they turn up. Uh, no, we're going to go, we're going to retreat, I think, for now. Retreat and wait for my allies to turn up. Um, they are taking attrition. Not much, but some. And it's not apparently affecting them. Oh, good God. Um, so you could become kind, patient, or brave. Either of them would be great. You went kind. It's the one I probably preferred him not to have gotten. I prefer the other two. Patient or brave being very, very good stats. Um, this attrition is not affecting them. You want to be treated fairly. I'm going to sell you. Right. Um, I've got a lot of money. So I'm going to hire the great company. No. Should I go Great Company? I'm going to go the Great Company. Alright, and you can wander all the way over here. Good luck. Can't wait to see you. So now, I've still got War Score because I've managed to crush that Salmonid army. But I'm going to wait here until I've got overwhelming numbers from the Great Company. That is my plan. And it may cost me a fortune... But it should be worth it if I can at least crush this main force. It's not even their main force. I've just realized I've got 12,000 other guys hanging around somewhere. Let's have a look. 25,000 troops. They're gaining decadence. So that's cool. Uh, I could become zealous, greedy, 
or charitable. Charitable would be nice. I've already got charitable though, so I'll get zealous. I do not get. Well, no, I was looking at the wrong person. I didn't. I did have charitable already. So yes, I was. I'm still right. I was just looking at the wrong person. I was looking at the Shane, the the Shah. Couldn't think of his name then. You need to be married. You need to be educated. Betrothed already. Wow, it's quite early. I'm not a very nice. Oh, okay. So that Deccan's revolt failed, like every other one does. How is the Caliphate? They're, they're sort of winning. I would be very interested to see if they win. Because they will take all the land in Armenia. Which they don't actually have. They'll take that bit of land there. Not the best, but not the worst either. So my money is being hemorrhaged right now. 100, minus 106 a month. That is a lot. <laughs> so, ah, the Pachenic, they've become Armenian and Messalian. Oh, that's cool. So, Belgorod becomes Armenian and Messalian. Belgorod is there, isn't it? Yes. That's a really nice event. I don't... You don't often see that. So, that basically got rid of all the risk rating from... For that province. So, I'm going to move you now to there. Just because I'm the only one who's going to be trying to convert it. So, I might as well focus that rather than my vassal's land. But I will need to crush the uh, Nestorians who are appearing. So we're on 3,000 gold. I'm not losing as much money now. Alright, so once we're fully here, 22,000 troops. Let's go fight. Let's just auto balance, make sure everyone is in the best position possible. These are not my best... Oh, they are my best commanders. Fair enough. Let's go for it. Alright, I've got to, be, got to be aware now where everyone is. There's no supporting army there to immediately get involved and turn this against me. I'll be there in the next few days. Engage in a theological debate. So, I almost double their forces. I should, yep, and there we have it. That is a large amount of money, large amount of war score, but it should be anyway. Uh, let's just have a look. I've got ticking war score against me. Battle of Kizil Agir, that was the first one. Battle of Basaga, 15 and a 15.3 war score. So I'll just go and crush this force. Lovely stuff. We'll head back to Ustert. Brush it down. I'm taking so much attrition. It's actually disgusting. So I'll leave that army there. You can move. You can't move yet. I'm going to move you. I'm going to fire you. Replace you with her. She is leading troops. She is leading troops. Okay, so um, I'm going to fire her and go with this guy. Because she's a really good commander and I don't want to lose her. So once... Cool, they're there. This army needs some commanders. Like you. You. And you. you can wait there. I think we might rush it down. Just so I can get rid of this ticking war score, and I'm on I'm on 2,500 now. The money is dropping quite quickly. Um, they can get married, fine. Lovely, cool. So you can be educated by him. It's turning out quite nicely. I'm going to rush it down. I might I'm going to take some losses, but it was worth it just to get rid of the war score because now I'm on 37. Percent war score, which is very nice. This war is going in my favour. And all because I've got a huge treasury. <laughs> That's literally it. I, I was behind in terms of troops and now I'm not. Now we're fairly even. Except he's not being like he's not losing a fortune for having them. So once I've fully occupied this again, I'll move down um, and we can start occupying Karakum. 50% war score at the moment. 11,000 troops are on the way. They're in Gurgen. So I may have to rush to assist. I'm actually going to swap the leaders of these forces around. Make the best ones on this army. Because they're probably going to be the ones that are attacked. So then the next best lot. I'm going to lead this force myself actually. Risk it all. Because I have the best one there. So they are... I'll get them on the 26th of June. I should be able to combine my forces before they can arrive. 
23rd of July. I'll occupy this land. Done. Cool. Right. Just I've just noticed that I am hemorrhaging money. Well, not just noticed, but whatever. Um, before I do this, let's have a look. Anyone giving me... No. No one has given me any war score for being my prisoner. And I'm going to actually end the episode here because I've just realized I'm overrunning. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.